Hosanna in the highest. Dear friends in Christ, during Lent we have been preparing for the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery. On this day, our Lord Jesus Christ entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph. The people welcomed him with palms and shouts of praise, but the path before him led to self-giving, suffering, and death. Today we greet him as our King, although we know his crown is thorns and his throne a cross. Follow him this week from the glory of the palms to the glory of the resurrection by way of the dark road of suffering and death. United with him in his suffering on the cross, may we share his resurrection and new life. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with the hope of our salvation, that we may enter with joy into the celebration of those mighty acts whereby you give us life and immortality. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you. Lord Jesus Christ. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, 
humble and mounted on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Hebrews acclaimed Jesus as Messiah and King, with palm branches in their hands, crying, Hosanna in the highest. May we also, carrying these emblems, go forth to meet Christ and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life lives and reigns in glory with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. When morning came, 
all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. He said, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? See it to yourself. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, Judas departed and went and hanged himself. But the chief priest, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. After conferring together, they used them to buy the potter's field as a place to bury foreigners. For this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah, and they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of one on whom a price had been set, on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price, and they gave him for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded him. Now Jesus stood before Pilate the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wished. At that time they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you wish for me to release to you, Jesus Barabbas, or Jesus who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While Pilate was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with this just man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and on our children. So Pilate released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed on his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink it. 
And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves and cast him lots. They said, until sat down and kept a watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel, let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God, let God deliver him, if he wishes to. For he said, I am the Son of God. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three o'clock in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, this man is calling for Elijah. At once one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. When Jesus had cried again with a loud voice, he breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn and true from the top to the bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of their tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those who were with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was Son of God.
church and for the world and for all people according to their need. Heavenly Father, we pray for all our sisters and brothers around the world who are suffering through this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and distress. Regard with gentle compassion their sorrows and their cares, and help both them and us to put our confidence and trust in you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm. Almighty God, whose blessed Son healed all manner of sickness and disease among the people, continue this his gracious work among us. Cheer, heal, and bless the sick. Grant wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience to the doctors, nurses, medical assistants, frontline workers in all professions, and any others who put their health and safety at risk. Send your blessing upon all who labor to prevent suffering. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will, will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and in his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God.